Hey everybody and welcome back to Minecraft, but there's only one modded block and a crab. Since we last left off, I swear I haven't forgotten to make videos, my power was just out for three days, so I couldn't do a whole lot. But as promised, I've updated the mod pack and there is some new stuff. There's a new section down here called All in One. What it sounds like is that once you reach the tier of the one block that I'm at, which is the end, you can like select one of these and then it will kind of focus the blocks that are generating here on a particular category more than others. So if I do say underground boost, then in theory, if I go and mine the one block right now, I think what should happen is it'll skew more towards underground blocks. We should see more like stone ores, things like that, which does kind of seem to be the case right now. So that's kind of cool. And then like, if I go back in, remove the boost, removes the current boost, the last phase will generate content without any boost. So I remove that and then say I wanted to go into astral or something like that. So I initiate that. And then if I start mining, will it start generating like more astral focused stuff? It's hard to tell for sure. It could be kind of a placebo. Yeah, oh, there goes that. But I have star metal and a bunch of marble in my inventory. So, you know, he hello, can we not? <laughs> Welcome back to one block, everybody, where uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but this is not happening. I'm not dealing with so sorry, dog. I've just done bad things. That was very mean of me, but I didn't want to deal with an evoker. Um, so that's new. I'm not sure how much we'll put it to use, obviously, now that, you know, we're sort of in the end game and we have most of the resources. But also, I was hoping that the overworld section would either complete or populate with a new quest that wasn't showing up, but still it shows all the quests is completed and it's not complete in the section. So I don't know if like once I got to this stage in the prior version of the mod pack, it's just kind of stuck this way, even if I update. But if anyone has some suggestions, has done the troubleshooting on this, let me know if there's a way to solve it, if there is a quest that's supposed to pop up and if there's a way to do it. So anyway, make sure to like the video for new mod pack updates and help us reach, I don't know, 15 likes on this video. An easy goal, right? Hopefully. Also, it looks like if you make a player statue, you can place it next to the Xnilio generators and it'll boost how much they're producing. I don't know if it'll apply to all of them at once, even if I just have one player statue. But the recipe for the player statue is, um, it, we don't quite have all the recipes for it. We need a skeleton skull, which shouldn't be too difficult. I haven't done any, I should plant the skeleton seeds actually. That wouldn't be the worst idea. And then I'd be able to actually get some of that. But then the other thing is the treated wood. So we need to get like the creosote, I think from the Coke furnace with immersive engine engineering or something like that. But here, let me plant a, a skeleton seed real quick, and that would take care of at least one of those ingredients. I mean, it just looks kind of cool. We get a little mini me and it's a unique block that's specific to the one block mod pack. I don't know, maybe something to work towards. But again, we have to do the creosote, but it's not that hard. I'm sure we have the resources to set it up if we wanted to, but we'll see. Speaking of recipes that have also been changed, um, we mentioned this and a lot of comments have mentioned this over the last many episodes, which is that, um, yeah, this this changed a little, a little bit. This one didn't. Still the same recipe as before, and we're gonna do it, like I said we were. But yeah, um, so dragon egg, still the same with the antimatter and the egg. However, you have to do it via mechanical crafting. Again, not a big deal. These blocks also, not really difficult, not a big deal. However, the endstone supercharged three is kind of an interesting deal. Now that we have access to the end, it's easier, but we would have needed to like get the chorus fruit and stuff without being able to go to the end, unless we just went the other way of manufacturing with astral sorcery. So kind of, it kind of shifts things up a little bit to be sure. Sorry, doorbell rang if you heard a little sound in the background there. Also, there was one other thing you'd have to do with this alter transmutation in order to get the tier three charging agent, but it doesn't seem that bad if it's anything like the other silent gear thing that we've already done. It's just one block that you make. So all in all, it's not actually that crazy of a change to the crafting recipe. And I think we still would have been able to do it even if we had updated prior, just with a few extra steps to get like the, the purper. But we're still gonna try this out, at least on, on one time so that we can do fighting Gaia and trying out the Eidolon stuff. But before we do that, I do wanna go and explore the end. So first, I actually want to just heal up my arrows because they got a little bit low after that dragon fight. And um, also, I want to I want to bring the digital miner along, like just in case it'll help with finding any of the blocks that we need. So let's get a couple of things queued up that we need to do. And then I guess I just 
need to make a couple other of the ingredients involved here, but we should, we should have everything that we need in order to do it. I could have just gone and set up all the auto crafts in advance, obviously, before I started the episode, but uh, yeah, here we are. All right, we've got the robot. We've got our logistical sorters. We've got our teleportation cores, and last but not least, just gotta get a couple more atomic alloys. And then we will have ourselves a digital miner that we can take with us and maybe use, maybe not. There were people commenting, hey, why don't you use a digital miner in the B dimension in order to get all the honeycombs for all the challenges. The thing with that is, not every single one of the honeycombs for the challenges can be found naturally. And that still leaves a bunch of stragglers that we have to, you know, go through the really tedious process. Anyway, I just, I don't think it's gonna be like super duper content to go and do the whole thing. So yeah, you know, I gotta leave some mystery for anyone who wants to go and play the mod back themselves. So that could be the thing that <laughs> you have to experience for yourself is the bee breeding so you can get all of the, the combs and stuff like that. All right, oh, I should have brought trapdoors in. Hey, give me some ender pearls real quick so I can get back and forth. Thank you, thank you so much, much appreciated. So what are the blocks I haven't written down on a notepad? We need to get a dragon head. We need to get purple blocks. We need chorus fruit. We need emus and we need poise clusters so that we can tackle lots and lots of challenges. All right, we made it. Um, having flight is, well, that was easy. <laughs> Is this a ship? This is a ship city. That really couldn't have gone better. People are gonna be like, mods folder moment. I'm gonna be like, I don't know, the mods folder in this one has a lot in it. I will be honest with you there. So, hey, let's go grab ourselves a little bit of, um, you know, chorus flowers. Should we, or should we get chorus flowers? Should I just get chorus fruit? Wow, this is gonna be really great for getting the dragon. <laughs> oh my God. I wonder if, um, so it looks like there are kind of other biomes around here. I don't know if, oh, look, it's like an end beam. I don't know if I kind of need to like look around in order to find, I especially don't know where this the poise cluster is, which I think is what I need in order to make the end catalyst. Yeah, so the poise cluster, it's just a block that generates because there's no crafting recipe. So I'm like, uh, where do I find, is it this? Is it you? No, that's Mayanite, right. Is it over, maybe it's over here. Is it you? Wait, could it be you? It totally could be you, right? Poise cluster, let's go. Oh, uh, so how do I use this in a crafting recipe when it's, it's a, it's a mob? That's, is this, does this count as emus here? I'm, how do I, what? The leaves are alive. The trees are alive. The hills are alive with the sound of music. How do I, how do I, a poised place? Uh, it's kind of like diabolical music. Is this the fart block? Is this the fart? It's not though, because the fart block was like insta mining. There must be something I can collect around here. Uh, it's fascinating, but also, oh my God, the music is, is so dramatic. Should I get the dragon head? Let's get the dragon head and like see if there are any other quests that populate after it, like get the elytra or something like that. God, it's really nice to just be able to fly up here. Got it. All right, so we got the dragon head. Elytra is the next logical step. I, I would have guessed as much, but does anything come after that? Hey bud, sorry to disturb you like that. Oh, there's like other interesting stuff in here though. Heliodor, spinel. We probably already have most of the stuff that you know, could come out of here. Wow, that would be a top tier pick if we <laughs> were in vanilla survival. But anyway, I'll still grab it because it's kind of awesome. We got ourselves an elytra. Okay, so actually that might be it. Let's get the purple blocks, which we could just mine real easily from the, uh, from this or from the end city. And then after that, all we need to do is get the emus and then we will be done with this section. <laughs> Sorry, am I gonna just decimate the ship? Uh, maybe I'll just decimate this over here. Although it's all, is it gonna be like slabs? I don't know, or is it gonna be, is it gonna be good? 
No, it's gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be great. All right, you guys. Um, yes, feel free to shoot me. It's cool. I can fly, so I'm unaffected. And um, it's cute that you're trying, though. It really is. Uh, and yeah, don't worry, I'm just Captain Sparkle's destroyer of ceilings. For anyone who watches, like, the random drops stuff that I do often on the second channel, I, I my nickname is Captain Sparkle's destroyer of floors because I always ends up that I need to destroy the floors of, of houses and villages in order to get some sort of random drop that's important. And um, here I'm the destroyer destroyer of ceilings so and, uh, it goes it goes both ways up and down i suppose so you just need uh, two easy two stacks two stacks we're almost there there we go 120 per per blocks not even two stacks and then we would have gotten our singular chorus fruit but we we have a lot more so hold on this is just okay 50 emus we had like 14 in the system or something like that is that just it must be over here Right? It's gotta be somewhere. Or, cause that's my, again, that's my and I, I'm pretty sure it's obsidian that's in those pillars, and then the transparent blocks at the top are not gonna be it. Wh how, but there's no crafting recipe for the emus, right? It just, it just is. Is it, dang, the music just kicks up again. I wonder if it's underneath. Is it underneath? How do I get the emus? Gosh dang it, dude. There's gotta be ways like in the tree, no? Is it in, oh, there's a dome over here. Oh, this is kind of crazy. Are the emus, are they in here? The world may never know how I actually go about bolum blood. Oh, I just put down a light. Can I interact with you? Bro, I'm trying to figure out how I get these blocks. Every single one of these just goes floating up in the air. Do I lasso it? Do I put it in a mob grinder? Like, I'm, I'm about to go bring a lasso into here. Maybe, okay, hold on, hold on. This is why I brought the digital miner. The thing is, I need to bring in a power source. That's the that's the thing. So pardon me, I'll be right back. But also I need to see if I can like drag from JEI. It's always different. Some mod packs I feel like allow you to, but otherwise I don't know how I'm gonna target it without already having it. Well, the emus I can, but the poise cluster, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna bring a lasso and I don't know, maybe give that a try. But I'm gonna I'm gonna power this with an ultimate energy cube. Let me just clear things out of my inventory here. This is why we have all these uh, energy cubes over here, so I can just pop one off whenever I want, and uh, we can use it to power something like the digital miner wherever we want it to be. I should try this here. Let's put in an energy source, and um, so if I go into the config and do a new filter and do an item stack, will it let me drag in? Why? Why won't you let me drag in? I got a drag in head and still you refuse. This frustrates me greatly. I don't think I need it to be there. I don't want it to be there. I need it to be there. Frick. And I don't know, I, I never know how to do the item tags. I can't even get them to show up. Anyway, it's not so much of an issue here because I have this block and I can throw that into item stack. But for the other one, I, I guess that's just where the, uh, the, the lasso comes into play because maybe I can just put it in the grinder or something like that and just see if it works or I don't know. Anyway, so we should be able to get that pretty easy peasy. Max 255 probably. And um, yeah, we'll be good. Okay, very cool. If it exists, if it exists, we'll be good. Hey, in the meantime though, let me go and smelt up some of the chorus fruit that we got because we're gonna need it for the robes. In fact, actually, you know what? I could probably just take care of that challenge right now because this is going to happen super duper quick. And what was it? It was the ultimate mage, arch mage robes. And we need the end fiber here, which requires the blaze fiber, which requires the mage bloom fiber, which I can't remember if we have lots and lots extra, but let's just, okay, so we have 20 of them. Was that enough to do the whole thing? Let's find out. So we get 20. And then we can do this. That's one of them. Okay, so we might just need a little bit more of the, uh, yeah, because we're gonna need 24, aren't we? So I'm just gonna be shy by like a little bit, but this is the final one in Ars Nouveau. So yeah, let's go. So just a few more of those, and then a few more of those, and probably made more than I actually needed there, and we will be good. Boom. Magicka complete, let's go. I kinda wanna see what I look like. I wonder if you get like a really cool fancy model when you put these on. Okay, it's, pre it's pretty much just armor, but it is kinda cool. Uh, you can show your support for the LA Lakers in style in Minecraft. <laughs> 
Um, I think it would not be as useful for us in the end, you know, with the whole need to fly and stuff like that, but, but they do look nice, and I bet they give us great mana regen and stuff for all things Ars Nouveau that we would like to do. Maybe helpful in stone block, because we're actually doing a lot more Ars Nouveau in stone block. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, kind of cool. I actually decided to just go read up a little bit on the poise clusters, and it says that you hit them multiple times, and then after doing it four times, they'll drop. Like, up until then, you're just making it go higher and higher. I don't know if the issue is like, I'm just hitting it with too much damage. <laughs> like, do I need to punch it with a fist, maybe? Two, three. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. All right, I was just being a little unnecessarily aggressive. I'm really sorry about. It. I didn't. I didn't mean to. They, yeah, now you get them. Okay, so the 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 key here is just be gentle, because you can like ride these up. Look at the boofaloos, dude. And then you do it again, and every time you punch it up to the four times, it keeps taking you higher, so that you can fall from an even greater height than you ever could before, unless maybe up. Oh! That would have hurt if I could feel fall damage. Unless, does it not, like, do these bounce? I don't know, maybe they absorb fall damage or something like, what are you? What are, oh, it was one of the viruses, like, munching on whatever the heck this is. What the heck is this? A puff bug, oh, that's where the viruses dudes come from. Fascinating, what a fascinating ecosystem. Anyway, okay, let's see if we could increase the radius. I don't know what the max is, probably like 32 or something like that, but we increase the radius. Check, forgot to hit the check mark last time here. Let's see if it finds, oh, it's it's finding them. It's, it's found a, a good bit. It's found 1300 of them, cool, okay. This is where speed upgrades would actually be a nice thing, and I, I should have gone and done that. Um, it would it would munchy crunch the power like crazy, but I bet you I do not need to have it at a radius of 30. I bet I can bring that down to like 10, and it will be good to go. Yeah, 419 still in the vicinity. You know what I can do though? I just run it back real quick. It's not gonna keep mining because we don't have the anchor upgrade on it, but let me just go and snag some upgrades real quick. Oh, dude, I could make a dimensional card, and oh man, that would actually be mega. Then I could just access the system anywhere. I don't know. It's like, at this point, I'm like, do I need it? Am I really gonna? It would have been useful at the beginning of the series. Now that I'm this far in, like, I I guess we could. So dimensional card, what did that take again? That it was like, oh, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm, I, that was a ha ha funny joke. Funny, funny joke that I have just made there. And I hope you found it amusing because <laughs> that was uh, so the dimensional card, huh? That's um oh and uh, wow! Even for the infinity range booster, which is overworld only, you need to get Gaia's head. We could, in theory, work towards an infinity range booster. <laughs> Dimension card is uh, wow. That's a whole that's a whole other ball game now, isn't it? Okay, so what was I here to get some upgrades? Right? Let's just uh, let's just speed and energy it up or something like that, and and we'll just uh, hey, you know what? We could also do for the time being is we can we can make the uh end catalyst here well we have to hold i gotta i gotta do this but then we can make the end catalyst i am actually gonna have to start providing these things with more mana because i need to make a portal to alf and sustain that with mana in order to get one of the ingredients necessary to fight gaia so that is i, sh I should probably just i don't know if i should go and make a little dropper or something like that here that's just wired into the system exporting coal blocks so that I can AFK and just have mana generating slowly. But, you know, a lot will accumulate over a night time if you just have blocks dropping because we do have a, a decent amount of coal and we could get more generating by just, you know, replacing the seeds since we probably don't need any more gold. But hey, we got a lot of storage in our inventory. Anyway, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Because the 16,000, thousand, God, I love having that Omega massive drive and not having to worry about anything anymore. There we go. This, the catalyst to end them all. Boom. Just, I just love it when I'm expecting for it to finish the section, and it, and it does. And it, it does finish the section. It's, it's beautiful. Now we have another X Nilio generator. Oh my goodness. Is that two of them? That's two of them. Do have a lot of power. We could probably, anyway, we're just not hurting for resources at the moment is, is the only thing. All right, we can head back real quick. It may have actually generated everything that we need by now, but, um, 
you will we'll see i i don't know maybe it could have kept the chunks loaded like temporarily but uh i think we'll have it i left it over here right i'm not mixing up my directions hopefully where are you right there you're right there yeah right where i left you right in the midst of the dramatic music okay only 13 yeah we're gonna need to do a little bit of energy upgrade and speed upgrade should i have brought all eight perhaps but don't worry we'll be there in just a moment all right there we go combined with what we have at home that should be enough because we only need 50 boom let's take it with back up our bags and go home i don't know if we need to be here anymore so again it's like ah, do we need the dimensional card well you know if i were going to spend a lot of time i guess the b dimension or the nether or it doesn't just have to be the end it could be any dimension really but anyway i um that'd be a lot of work <laughs> getting the constellations and doing all that stuff with astro sorcery that's truly like the next stage doing all the relays and oh man it's a lot it's a lot but anyway will this now complete the end section for us we're just knocking them out of the park today, aren't we? Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that leaves, in terms of challenges, it's really just the overworld. Looking for comments and feedback on if there's anything I can do in order to make that green and complete because I'd really like to see it feel good. And then this can't be completed because it's just extra. Oh, dude. Oh, because it comes right. It happens after every section that you complete here. It allows you to do that sort of resource in the one block as it generates. Oh, that's so awesome. Anyway, okay. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I think what we're gonna do here is this will probably be a shorter-ish episode, but we're gonna do, man, next episode might be a, a finale of doing the Gaia fight and making the end portals via the alternative recipe. And um, that'll be a heck of a send off. So I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned for the finale. Unless, unless of course, there are like a crazy amount of quests that are gonna populate here once we figure this out. And maybe I'm speaking too soon, so we'll see. I'll check the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like the video and uh, subscribe to stay tuned. And I'll see you all in the next one.